The story of stage three was wet, wet, and slightly less wet. The early starters around the 10 mile time trial course at Knowsley were subjected to a deluge in keeping with the meteorological horror shows of Sunday and Monday. Cornering was difficult, visibility was at times restricted and the wind continued to blow. Nonetheless, Mark Cavendish rode an aggressive race before Garmin's Jack Bauer hauled out an excellent time to take the provisional lead. Alex Dowsett, swapping the dark blue of Movistar for the red, white and blue bands of the British National Time Trial Champion, went off hard, sometimes dangerously so, but failed to get close to Jack Bauer's time. It wasn't until Team Sky's big guns came out to play that it all changed again. Firstly, when Ian Stannard went six seconds faster than Bauer, and then definitively when Bradley Wiggins, who started off cautiously, then seemed ever more fluent before crossing the line in 19 minutes and 54 seconds, the only man under 20 minutes. Oh, look at this, we set a possible sub-20. Wiggins is going to do it, up to the line. What a fantastic ride. Stellar performance here then by Bradley Wiggins. The reworked IG general classification then looks like this. It's a Sky 1-2 at the top, just as it was when Wiggins won the Tour de France. Only for Froome, reads Stannard. Martin Elmiger, I am Swiss GC rider, is now in third place at 47 seconds, with Alex Dowsett also within one minute, just. This morning's race leader, Gerald Cholick, drops to ninth at one minute, 21 seconds.